Hello! I haven't done this in a little bit, so this is weird for me, but it's okay. This is the Knitting Diaries, because I knit. Only knitting this time, no crochet, and it hasn't been crochet in a while, but it might be coming soon. I It's been like a month since I filmed one last one of these Knitting Diaries. Uh, whoops! Sorry! I have been knitting though, quite a lot, so today I'm only gonna show off like the first, oh not necessarily the first half of April, but the first few things that I made, because if I try to do all of it, it's gonna be a long video, which is not uncommon on this channel, but I'm not sure how much battery my camera has at the moment, so we're gonna keep it short. Sure, like, as if I'm capable of keeping it short. Anyway, I have my notebooks, notebooks, only one. I have a notebook where I write down stuff about my knitting because I like to be in control. And we're gonna start with uh, the smallest item, which are pretty much hidden by <laughs> the little tag. I'll show you the tag first because uh, I used this yarn before and I made a baby blanket and then I made a pair of longer wrist warmers and then I had like, let's see here, 11 grams left of the yarn. And what do you do with 11 grams? There's nothing, but the short ones, I mean, if you're just a little cold, they're great like this. So they're just little wristlets basically and it's cotton so no, it's not cotton, it's wool. Everything is wool yarn in different combinations. This is 100% merino wool. I like it, it's super soft. And it's not like white white. The color is called nature. So it's not like bright white, but they're really, really soft and comfortable. And I don't know about you guys, I tend, my hands are always cold. They can be cold even in summer, which apparently some think is impressive. I don't think it's impressive at all. I cannot stand having cold hands, but my hands are cold a lot. So these are brilliant. And I have several other uh, wrist warmers to show off. These, as I said, I only had 11 grams, which is why they're super tiny, but they do the, tr do the trick. And it's simple ribbing, like one, one knit, one purl. If I stretch it out, you might be able to see it properly. And they're uh, six centimeters long, so really short. But I like having a bit of variety. And also, as I said, that was the yarn that I had left. So they did not take long to make. I mean, teeny tiny, super easy. And I use, when I knit stuff like this, I do not use Magic Loop. I use like double pointed needles and five of them. This is not the number I used. I used 3.5 millimeter needles on these actually. The yarn calls for, the yarn calls for three millimeter needles, but I wanted to make sure that there were getting at least some size on them, so I used three and a half millimeter needle. And I've done a thing now uh, where you can, if you don't want to listen to all of it, or if you're wondering what I was saying about some of it, I'm going to try to remember to link it down below in the description. But I have a Ravelry page where I finally, I mean, Technically, I've been on Ravelry for like a decade. I just never put anything on there, but now I've started putting things on there. So everything I'm gonna show you is on Ravelry. It's kind of cool. If you don't know what Ravelry is, it's a website for knitters, crocheters, other people working with yarn to do a lot of things. Keep control of what you have done, what you wanna do, 
There are tons of patterns, both free and patterns you can buy, and you can uh, update your yarn stash. I have not done that because I realized a few of the yarns are actually not a Ravelry. I think they might be too old or too small. I don't know. But Ravelry has a lot of stuff. I'll link my page as I said down below if I can figure out how. So yeah, but these were the f first things I knit after I did my last uh, knitting diaries. So I think I actually knitted these in the end of March. And now we're in the end of April. Whoops. I will do better. Or at least I will do my best to do better. And then the next thing that I knitted, yet another pair of wrist warmers. I have been knitting a lot of them because I don't know what else to do when I have one ball of yarn. And this one is hard to see because it's so dark, but I uh, want more information. I don't know if you can like even look at it because it's so dark. But this is 80% Bayabi Alpaca and 20% Silk. And as usual with stuff like this, super soft, absolutely love it. And they're a lot longer because I had more. But so these can, you can either have it up here or further down. I mean, you've seen wrist warmers before, I assume, so you know how to wear them. But these are super soft and yeah, I mentioned I'm always got cold hands. So wrist warmers are great, especially if you have like an office job and you sit on the computer all day and hands get like really, really cold. Wrist warmers can be recommended. You can obviously see these are blue and I did. Oh, I don't know what the stitch is called in English. When you like knit two and purl two and then you do that for two rows and then the other or then the third and the fourth row you purl two and knit two. So they're kind of opposite. I tried to write it out on my Ravelry page if you want to see so you can go there and check it out. I don't know. I don't know how to explain stuff like that because I don't know all the English words. I feel like I'm learning though because I'm watching a lot of knit tubers as in people that talk about knitting and crochet on YouTube. Love it. It's a whole niche. I love it. But these, I had 44 grams, so not actually even a full ball of yarn of these. And I used needle three and a half millimeter. And I, the funny thing is, with the white one, little ones here, I use 50 stitches and around, but with the blue, I only needed 44. And I use the same needle size. And they feel kind of the same width. Yeah, width. So that was an interesting thing, in my opinion. You don't have to think about that. You just have to listen. <laughs> but yeah, and these are 18 centimeter long. I think that's a good length, but Sometimes you just need the short ones. And then, almost the same yarn as the first wrist warmers, but in a different color. It's color th number 34. And I think, I know the Norwegian word, and I think the English word for the color is heather. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I finished the baby blanket. And honestly, out of the baby blankets I've made, I think this might be my favorite. I mean, I love the pattern. I use the pattern from Drops Design. <laughs> and... Oh no, I didn't write down what the name is. Oh no, wait, I did. The pattern is called Good Night. I will try to remember to link that one too in the description. But I mean, the color, the color, and I like the pattern. It was really simple, but it's so effectful. And the yarn is obviously a love. So this is the favorite baby blanket I have ever knitted. Okay, this is 
the pink, white, blue, and this one. This is the fourth baby blanket I've knitted. And I think it's a good size. You can, uh, depending on the size of the baby, obviously. I don't know how well you can wrap the baby in it, but you can definitely use it like when they go to sleep and all. I don't know much about babies. <laughs> I don't have a baby. I've never had a baby and I never will have. And that's okay. But knitting baby blankets, that's something I would like to do more of because it's very enjoyable. And the size of this uh, is 63 times 78 centimeters. And I used a four millimeter needle, even though the yarn calls for a three millimeter because the pattern called for a four millimeter needle. So that is what I used. And I will say I'm very, very pleased with the results. And then we're back to the wrist warmers. I had two balls of this yarn, Drops Merino Extra Fine. Is that what it's called? Yes. This is color number 21, also known as purple. It's obviously a pair. I do wrist warmers in pairs because most people have two arms and two hands. And they're not as long as the blue ones. And these are, let's see, 16 centimeters in length, but they're so soft. And working with this yarn, I, I mean, I, I knitted the sweater I'm wearing and I love it, but I only have two knitted wool sweaters. And I think, I don't think I want this color, but this yarn, imagining this yarn in a sweater, oh my God, I'll be hugging myself all day long, every day, as long as I knit a sweater with this yarn, I think. I don't know, but. I just imagine that that would be, oh, because it's so nice and soft and it's not itchy. And there is a reason I'm wearing a shirt under this sweater. The sweater is wool. And to me, it will get itchy because my skin is like, do not want wool, wool yarn. But this one, this one, I don't think it would actually itch, which is incredible. And I love it. Uh, this one has, uh, let's see, 42 stitches around and it's the same ribbing as the white one, so one knit and one purl. And I used needle number four. And that is what the yarn calls for. And they weigh 41 grams. So I knit another pair with this, uh, because I had two balls of this yarn, and I knit a pair of wrist warmers that I actually sold, very happy about it. Uh, and that pattern was called Sweet Verbena, I mentioned it in a video a few times ago, I think. But I had two balls of yarn, and this was kind of leftover, so I figured, hey, Wrist warmers, I'm sure I'll be able to sell it. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, because, you know, I would like to get some money in because I'm currently unemployed. Um, but yeah, these, this yarn, I don't think I would, I feel like it would be a little too much if I make a sweater with this color, but I definitely, definitely want a sweater with this yarn because Oh my God, it's so, ah, uh, it's incredible. I love it. I haven't, uh, I haven't actually uh, uh, blocked any of the things that I've made. So I don't know how we will do after blocking and after use and all, because this sweater, I never thought about it, but it's like, I don't know how you can, if you can see it, like all the little, I think it's called pilling because you have all these little, can you see, can you see like that one, for instance, there are so many and they're like sticking up everywhere. I don't know why that is happening and I don't know how to prevent it. I don't know if this yarn will do the same. I'm hoping it won't do, but I still love the sweater I made. I mean, come on, I need a sweater. So cool. 
Anyway, right now we're talking about wrist warmers because I've already shown you three pairs. Here is number four <laughs> because, you know, if you only have one ball of yarn and one ball of yarn, in my case, most cases, where I buy yarn at least, one ball of yarn equals 50 grams. What do you do with 50 grams of yarn if you have only one ball? And sometimes you don't even have that. This is the yarn. And I think this was one of the yarns that I actually couldn't find on Ravelry, which was really weird. But this was the leftover from the other sweater I knitted. And I made these a little different. Sure, they're cute and shorter and they have cables and I, let's see, the yarn asks for between like two and a half to three and a half millimeter needle. I use a three millimeter needle and I can't, I can't wear it because it's starting to itch. Uh, but I started like the start and the finish is both one by one ribbing and then I did cables. And I thought it turned out really, really cute. So, I love it. And when I knit, uh, did the cables, I only had like uh, four stitches and then I made like cable thingy in the middle. I have no idea how to explain that. But I am really happy with the results. I totally wish I could wear these, but as I said, stupid sensitive skin. I can't even I can't even show them off properly. Luckily, I can still knit with yarn that will itch for me because apparently like from here and up, my hands don't give a shit. Luckily, it makes me very happy because if my hands got itchy, I would not be able to do this. But aren't they cute? I find them really adorable. And I like cables. They're a little tricky sometimes, depending on the yarn and all, but generally, I like them. The last thing I'm gonna show you is these. Guess what? It's another pair of wrist warmers. And this yarn, uh, yeah. This is also 100% merino wool, like most other things. This one, however, is not. This is the tag. And this is more of the tag. It's always funny to try to show you the tag because like, I don't know how close to the camera I need to be, but this is 60% alpaca and 40% Peruvian wool. I assume that's how you say it. I mean, the, the text is in Norwegian, so I, I, I don't know everything in English, but these, I will put them on to show you and then I will quickly take them off because me and alpaca are not best friends, but they're long ones and oh my God. Okay. I can't wear them. <laughs> this is hopeless. It's not hopeless, but sometimes it's really annoying, but I've come to realize that not everything works for me. And just because it's merino wool doesn't make it non itchy for me. However, Apparently, some is not that itchy. And then you have stuff with alpaca. It makes me want to claw my arms off if it touched my arms, so we're gonna try to avoid that, but here it is. I, I want to put it on to show you, but I... Yeah, I'm gonna... Um, you saw it on for a moment, but here they are. Show you up close a little better. And I, I don't know how to try to explain this pattern to you. So as I said, I refer Ravelry, check out the page, but the yarn called for, let's see, needle number three millimeter. And I did them with just that three millimeter needles and they're 19 centimeter long. And these actually have 56 stitches around. So like we have 50 stitches 
in a round and oh god where did it go 44 and 42 and 54 and then 56 so it's like it's a little all over the place but it okay it's a lot of the same but not all of the same but yeah so that was what I was gonna show you today to not make the video too long and also well not or to make sure I had enough battery but I mean I feel like the start of the month was really well I finished a baby blanket and I made five pairs of wrist warmers I don't know maybe maybe like the white and the brown will be more like wristlets I saw that word the other day and I was like, yeah, that's a cool word. That is not a word I could just translate to Norwegian because I don't think it exists in Norwegian, so. But yeah, wrist warmers are apparently my thing because a lot of the yarn I have is like one ball of yarn or not even a full ball of yarn. So, you know, then I, then I make little things. But yeah, that's what I had to show off today. Uh, I'm working on kind of two things and then I have two things that are kind of done but I need to weave in the end so I don't accept of myself to call them fully done and I also have more stuff that is done so I'm gonna show you that in a different video but I just wanted to get back into showing off my knitting because it's fun and also I love the baby blanket I said and which one of the five wrist warmers I'm showing you is your favorite? This is a horrible picture to show you, I think. But <laughs> which one of these are your favorite? White, blue, purple, brown, or second purple? I mean, I'm just using the yarn that I have in my shelf. So, yeah. Look forward to more... Uh, more wrist warmers and wristlets to come because I can guarantee you there are more of them but so far very very few of them are the same they're either different yarn or different pattern or different length or even if some of it might be somewhat similar I don't think I have any at least not so far that are the exact same so I keep coming up with new ideas and I do them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed some yarn stuff yourself, if you like it, obviously. If not, I hope you've enjoyed either nature or a puzzle or something else. I don't really care. Just enjoy something in your life like I am. I love knitting. And thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell for notification because apparently not everyone remembers. I know I don't. So I thought I'd remind you so maybe, maybe I'd remember it better too. I repeat, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!